looking at number 21 from the chapter 9, chapter 10 test. This one is looking at half angle identities, and we'll be looking specifically at tangent of x over 2 or theta over 2. And specifically, its identity. There are three identities used, but I am choosing to use sine of x over 1 plus cosine of x. So we are given the value of sine of x, which is 7 over 25, and we must remember that sine of x is equal to the ratio of y over r. Now, we're also given what quadrant we're in. And so we're given uh, pi over 2 and pi. So somewhere in between pi over 2 or 90 degrees and 180 degrees with pi. So we know that we're in quadrant 2. And this information tells us that our cosine is negative and our sine is positive. This is going to be essential when we're trying to find the value of x for our cosine value. So in order to find that uh, value of x, we use x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, and then using the given information about y and r, 7 and 25, we simply plug those in. So we have x squared plus 7 squared is equal to 25 squared. Bless you! Uh, and so in doing that, um, we solve and we get positive 24. And this is where that quadrant comes in handy. Since we know that we're in quadrant 2, our cosine must be negative, and therefore this 24 must also be negative. So now when we write our cosine, which is x over r, we're using negative 24 over 25. Now these are the values that we're going to plug into this trig identity. So sine of x now becomes 7 over 25, and cosine of x becomes negative 24 over 25. Now we're just simplifying this complex fraction, and in doing so, we need to change 1 so that we have a common denominator of 25, so that becomes 25, highlighted in blue. Jesus Christ. Um, and then uh, we add those, and we get 1 over 25. When we're dividing by a fraction, we must multiply by its reciprocal, yum yum. And in doing so, we end up with 7.